Welcome back to Joe's Garage. This is episode two of the Tail Rotor. We're gonna be doing some painting, doing some grinding, making some sparks, having some fun. I can't wait to show you. Okay, here we are with the, the Tail Rotor blade. This is the, the white one. Um, I'm gonna put a, a paint, paint, paint the tip of it red. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask it off so um, we don't get any overspray on it. And uh, we'll just do that with some, a little bit of paper and some tape. So I made some marks on here following the same marks that are on the other one that's already painted. So we're nice and close. So it's just a matter of hitting those marks and making sure that we stay nice and lined up so that it looks even on both sides. It basically matches. We want the tape to line up on this end and on this end so that the so that it matches and all we really care about is the seam right here and um, we'll put a piece of put a piece of paper on this as well and then we'll be ready for some paint so there we go we'll get this hung up and we'll get it painted so what I've done is I finished masking the the rotor blade off and um, I got it I got it here and one of the tips I learned from watching YouTube videos thanks to Jimmy Duresta, is uh, squirt the line with a coat of paint that is white, in this case, because white is the under, undercover um, color of the top of the blade, so a little bit of paint will leak through the masking tape, but it'll be white on white and you won't be able to see it. Then when I shoot the tip of it with red, it'll be, when I peel the tape off, it'll be a nice clean line. So thank you, Jimmy Duresta, for that tip. It's, uh, it's awesome. So here we go. Just a little rattle can paint job, nothing too fancy. That's it for this side, and I'll get the other side, do the same thing. And then we'll just give that a few minutes to dry, and then we'll hit the tip of it with red. So I wanted to go over the parts with you. I did discover through some comments and also from um, hearing from some guys that were helicopter mechanics on this particular helicopter, that this piece, which is the flexi piece I demonstrated in the last video, is called a, a TT strap for tension torsion. So a tension torsion strap. So I thought that was pretty interesting. This is, I was a helicopter mechanic way back in the, in the day of being in the army, but uh, this was not the helicopter I worked on. Um, I also discovered when I dumped out all the hardware and was going through it, I was um, some hardware short. I didn't have all the nuts I needed for these bolts. So, and it turns out they're metric bolts. They're kind of a weird size. It's a European helicopter. So I had to send all the way to England for some, for some nuts. And uh, of course I wanted them in stainless steel so that they match. And, um, and they came in and they, f they fit perfectly. So I was pretty tickled about that. Um, I had to wait a couple weeks to get those in and I paid like two bucks a piece for them, but I was happy to get them. I also decided after playing around with this that I'd like to cut these nubs off on, the, on the part, this part of the yoke assembly. I don't need them. Uh, and, I, and I think they kind of detract from the way it looks. So I practiced on this one earlier today. It's not, I haven't finished sanding it yet, but um, I was able to get, get the nubs ground off pretty easily. So if you are uh, an aviation mechanic and the BK-117 is your favorite helicopter, don't watch the next couple minutes because I'm going to take a grinder to part of this. Should be pretty exciting.
So the, this part of it, we're going to squirt the tip of the tail rotor. Buggy's come to visit. Squirt the tip of the tail rotor red. And the white stripe that we painted on earlier is dry. So we got to have a nice clean line there when we peel the masking tape off. So we'll hit the bottom of this with, a, with our favorite rattle can red. And see how it looks. We'll do a couple of light coats. We'll probably give it two full coats and give it a chance to dry in between so we don't get any runs and it looks nice when it's done. One of the things my a good friend of mine's dad taught me about spraying something is to start your spray at the before you get to it, go past it and then let up and that way you're not leaving a blotch on the, on the piece that you're painting. So you can see my technique here. Generally have pretty good results. We'll give that a, a few minutes to dry. We'll hit it with another coat and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> so I went shopping at my local big box store and I found a fan that has a propeller motif already, so I thought it was a good fit and I liked it because it was low profile. We're a tall family, so need something that's not gonna take somebody's head off. The, the tail rotor's a pretty, a pretty beefy mechanism and it's, I plan on run, only running this fan on low speed, but even still, wouldn't want it to, to injure anybody. So I waited until we were shooting the video to open it up just to see, to see what I was gonna get. So you get to watch the unboxing. So, interesting stuff with this. Make a pile here. So we got the blades, or the two blades, I guess, which I won't be using, but maybe we'll repurpose them and use them for something else. And then all the stuff you can see here, a pile of stuff. So hopefully, We'll be able to figure out how to get the, the tail rotor yoke assembly mounted to this guy. So that'll be, that'll, be, uh, that'll be the next episode, me clanging the parts together trying to figure out how to make it go. So I don't know how to weld, so it should be entertaining.